Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so big thanks to Touredg for sending us the uh, EXS line. Yeah, we've the been anxious to try this for sure. We've been really keen to try it and, and big shout out to John because he's been trying really hard to get us them. UPS uh, may have lost a package UP, too. UPS, not, not so much of a shout out to them. <laughs> 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 we've, we've been struggling to get our hands on it. Uh, we have the three wood Matty Boy. Um, the club that I really think Touredg has uh, a sort of history of, of developing really hot fairy yeah. woods. I think they've had a cult following with three woods for at least, what, 15 years? Is that too much? 10, no, I mean, it wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't be too far. I mean, 10 for sure. Um, the old CB2 was the famous one. Um, they're expanding their pro staff, bunch of Champions Tour guys, which is quite interesting. That's their focus, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think it makes sense. It's a good way to kind of get a lot of people watch Champions Tour right now. Yeah. So, and um, you look at the little staff they've got, you know, uh, Scott McCarn, Tom Lehman, Duffy Waldorf, Tom Petrovic. Um, yeah, they seem to be kind of making a little push to get these out there, so I'm, I'm anxious to try them. Well, obviously, their, their competitive advantage is price. Yeah. The, the, the product is good, really good, but obviously they're coming at a slightly more of a, a, a budget conscious golfer. It's basically, can you get really good, you know, ball speeds, forgiveness, yeah. launch and spin from something that will probably save you a couple hundred bucks yeah. US over Callaway and TaylorMade? It seems that way. That's and obviously fun. as a company carrying a little less overhead, it would seem is how they can, they can get about that. I mean, they've got the same, the same shaft as, as most OEMs are going with. Uh, this year with the hazardous smoke yellow. It's continuing with the wave sole technology on the bottom, hmm. Matty, designed to sort of uh, get the, the club nicely through the, uh, the turf. We do like to see a little bit more of a descending blow with the fairy woods. You want a little bit of a, a divot, right? If don't you can, you? yep. So just to kind of manage the, the club speed through the turf. Gotcha. All right. All right, let's hit a couple. Sounded hot. Sounds really good, yeah. Good start. Wow. Oop. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. End of video. Yeah, video over. Well done. <laughs> Let's all go home. 166 ball speed. I can count on one hand the amount of fair roads I've ever seen you be 165 plus. It's low in the face. I was going to say, sound a little bit low, but it's nice. 260 on the fly, not going to argue with that. Nope, it's faster if anything, wasn't it? It sounds good, it really, yeah, it does. really does. It sounds like it's... Uh, it sounds like you've hit it a mile. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Confidence inspiring. Flatten it out a little bit. This thing is absolutely going for miles in the air. Didn't really hit a bad shot with it. This thing's ridiculous. The, uh, the kind of shallow face profile, I like that. It just looks like you can hit it easily off the ground. A sound. You're having such an easy time. Oh. Everyone sounds like you're just crushing it. It just looks very inviting, the face. There's a lot of confidence though when you, you, you feel like you've, you've really hit a good one. Well, you are hitting good ones clearly, but look at this. <laughs> That's been your driver, uh, your driver ball speed recently. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Yep. So one of the things that's a bit of a, there's a few things actually that are really sneaky about these uh, fairy woods, Matty. At the back of it, you've got the little weight port. Yep. That's adjustable, so you can get a three, six, nine. It comes with a nine, but you can get an 11. So you can customize the weight at the back. You can dial it in for your preference. Maybe you're using a higher balance point shaft and you want to you put a little bit of uh, weight down in there. Uh, just to kind of get that feel of the head or lighten it up if you want to feel that you can really release the head, whatever you prefer. It's nice to have adjustability that's, at this price great. point, right? It's absolutely uh, fantastic. And obviously the price point is the key. Yeah. Uh, I think retail in the US at 249. 249. It's, it's good. It's great. I think a lot of people will like how this club feels as a sort of as a package set. The little sleeper for me when I was looking up the specs though is it comes in a little 16.5, a little sneaky forward. A great loft. Three high launch. I think that is the one that I would really love um, people who are maybe struggle a bit with fairy would to, to get into that one. So just Titleist uh, TS3 right now, you can do that. Is that right? TS3. I mean, there's a few that you can adjust the head. Like you can adjust a sim from 19 down to 17 or 15 up to 17, but you're always playing with face closure or, or opening it up, which, which kind of, you know, isn't always ideal. Yeah. But uh, this, this guy obviously just, just comes as that. 
and um, which I think that's, that's something people should really look at. Also comes as in a little strong three as well at 13.5. If you have the opposite issue. And if, you were if you were using the 13.5, you'd be up over 170 <laughs> ball speed and yeah. you'd be, you would be hitting some driver numbers. Okay, so into the driver, Matty. Obviously, we've got the adjustable sleeve in this one. It's a nice uh, sleeve. Isn't really it? good uh, functionality on the sleeve. Yeah, we can get this uh, down and loft. So obviously, we knew the 10.5 head by nature was going to spin a little bit for you. So we can set this down to 8.5. And it makes the face angle a little bit more open, which well makes open. it, honestly, it sits extremely nice. Yeah. Very, very square. Actually a little bit open, obviously, yeah. at this rate. If I could have a preference, I would rather not have the 10.5 turned down to 8.5. Yeah. Because it's at 59 degree lie angle. Because it's upright. Correct. I would rather you play it at 8.5 in the 9.5. Start with 9.5, oh, okay. play, play it down at 8.5, and then you beat 57 and a half lie angle. That would be more my taste for you. Fair enough. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, we'll test this. Yeah. If, it, if it shows promise, I'm sure John wouldn't mind sending that one. Yeah. We could always, you know, follow up on the Sure. Time. Well, I mean, you know, there's probably a, a video that follows this one up based on how good that three wood is. Okay. A fitting video. Because we are using the stock shafts that are okay, but yep. you know, not exactly your for you that that was a, a 60 gram x flex if you could get that um adjusted with the uh, club connects adapter that would be, That'd be pretty cool. be great and okay. we have we have the tour edge uh, club connects That's adapters so Perfect. we can uh, we can definitely do that all right well let's see how this guy does okay oh straight good opener Hello, straight drive, my old friend. As straight as a string. Lovely. A little low in the head. Let's get some legs. That's gone. That one is gone. When Matty announces it's gone, <laughs> you, you know it's been hit very well. It's gone. Seldom do we get a it's gone from Matty. Oh! That's why. Look at those numbers. 12.8, 2100. That's fast. If anyone's in any doubt whether the price point on the Tour Edge stuff is a reflection of the quality, doubt removed. Yeah, it isn't. It's not one of those ones where it's like, oh, it's good, but it's I, I think slow, what we slow. alluded to at the start is, is why, you know, why you find it cheaper than the others. Yeah. They just stripped away the overheads of a, of a, a massive OEM. It's a completely different operation. I'm sure. Different. Completely different. No. All right, let's see a couple uh, that's more. That's promising. Awfully good as well. Jeez, bit low in the face, but it's really fast. Like 77. I just got to so, get that strike up slightly above center. And yeah, I'm and and that obviously that dynamic lie angle is is in the spot where we know where it causes you a bit of a hard time. So um, I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna be aware of the right side a bit more. So that yes. might be why I'm offsetting it. And you're offsetting that a little bit. So the club is half an inch longer than you're used to. Uh, that's oh, also playing into the dynamic lie angle and uh, and obviously this, the static lie angle is high. So, If anything though, if we can just kind of look at this stock um, set up and just be like, what's the potential of this club? High. It's close. That's really so, I mean, it's a great drive. Very happy with that. I'm going to catch one just above center and yep. it's going to be good. Get it. Get it humming. Well, there's only a few drivers that have achieved such a... That's a pretty lofty feat in here. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't be upset with any of those drives. I would just say, I like this. There's probably a different shaft that would help me catch the high part of the face a bit more often. That's literally the only thing <clears> I would have to say. I'm watching you hit them just thinking, if you had that 9.5 head, yeah. um, and you could set that at uh, 57 and a half, or even, even at 9.5 loft at 57. And just straight up, yeah half inch shorter than that with your RPG in it, that thing would be moving. It really would be. That thing would be moving. That's really impressive, dude. I say we sign off on that one. And yeah. let me hit a few with Maverick, because I'd like to just see, really we're looking for what, ball speed keep up? Is that basically yeah, the, I mean, the it, fair it, metric? All the things we're talking about are all relative to your gamer. So let's hit your gamer and, and see how it does benchmark. That's a good point. So you can immediately see the shape disappear, Matty. 
It's more neutral flying, yep, fair. That's a lovely drive. Is that a little high in the head? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a high launch, low spin. High bomb. A bomb. So probably a little less ball speed, but really good launch conditions. I would think so. So we're kind of starting to see the, the value of of the fitted driver versus the extremely high performance off the shelf driver. When you look at the numbers, it's not it's not really where the argument lies. Dispersion. It's going to be dispersion for you. Yeah, it's going to be that. It's going to be sort of delivery dynamic lie. It's mm -hmm. going to be huge to you, Matty. Um, Tell you, you what, know, it shows a lot of promise. A lot more efficiency. Thing. Lots of promise. Lots and lots of promise. Well, you know, there's no getting away from it. You're you're currently handling a $1,300 driver. And this is a great conversation to have. So this is at least, what, 1150 US, something like that, by the time you have it done, 1100 yeah, bucks. Yeah, I mean, that shaft is, is retailing for, you know, 550 US, that head is retailing for what, you know, probably, again, similar. So maybe 11, yeah. 1100 bucks US call. Something like that. So $700 less, if you find yourself in a position where that shaft suits you a bit better, which it could easily, Someone maybe For the majority a, of people, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah, bit less yeah. speed and just potentially, you know, different characteristics of your mm -hmm. swing. That shaft may, in fact, give you a great strike pattern. Yeah. I know. It's kind of hard to say anything negative about it's it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, really it is good. good. Right, signs off with a good one with yours, but... <laughs> Before everyone tells me I have to switch? I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. It's a good one. High bomber. Long. So I think uh, good options, guys. Um, price point wise, as we said, you know, you're going to get huge bang for your buck out of these, these two. Um, you know, I was just saying to Matty as we were hitting these, there's, there's no doubt in my mind these will be in the drawers at TXG. I love that. Um, See, that's, that's really the true test, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is how we decide how clubs end up at TXG. And you know, I think a lot of people you know, ask us that question, like, how do you decide what your demo entries is? We hit it. I know. We, we yeah, see how it performs. It. Absolutely. You know, it does it, this is what it takes. You know, when, when, when companies send us product and we see it perform like this, it ends up in the drawer. Yeah. So all we're concerned about is performance. Very true. Especially if there's performance at a, a specific price point that we think it could be massively valuable to the customers. Let's have everyone let us know in the comments if they want to see the a the nine and a half head that you mentioned. I think that's a no-brainer. So let's get that in with the with a fitted sleeve. With a fitting sleeve. Get on it, it dialed in. Yeah, that's that's a no-brainer. Get your grip on it. You know, put it through the works. Let's see that dynamic lie angle come down. Let's see all those things. You know, it'll be it'll be protected you against the the the, the right side. The right side. You'll be great. Absolutely. You'll be great. And actually, we have the new one. Uh, we should say coming as well. So the John Pro. Sanders, the the Pro version with the adjustable weight. It's a good looking um, driver. That thing. It's a great looking driver, and I think that one will be will be very interesting to see how that one performs. Um, so we'll get you to do that. It's an adjustable driver. Only coming in righty right now. Comes in righty right now. Has a sliding weight, kind of like what Epic Flash had. Correct. It looked um, very much like Epic uh, Flash similar. from the, the sole. So the, the sliding weight doesn't go all the way out to the toe. It kind of goes halfway to the toe, but it does go all the way at the heel. Mm -hmm. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. We've been saying it now for a couple of weeks. We're on the road to 100K. You guys are killing it, subscribing, uh, not just watching. We're up to, I think, 81,000 or so. So end of August, we've set the, the, the kind of yes. goal personally that we want to get to 100K by the end of August. So if you're watching and you watch regularly and you don't subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll get, so obviously, a, a little alert that the new videos are coming. Okay, we'll see you again soon.